I'm Nancy Frensley. I'm the training manager at the Berkeley East Bay Humane Society in Berkeley, California. We want to talk a little bit about what happens if you get a Basset Hound? How are you going to care for that hound? Well, first of all, uh, you need to know a couple of things about the Basset Hound. They're a scent hound and they were originally bred for hunting rabbits. They've got some, uh, some very, very special qualities which help them pick up and locate scent. One of those is they're very low to the ground. So your basset hound is already has his nose on the ground when he's just standing there and then they have those long drop ears and most people don't know it but those ears gather around the scent when the dog's nose is down and help concentrate the scent into the nostrils so and into all that all that scent uh, material that your your basset has in his nose. So your basset hound is a dedicated nose to the ground dog and that's the posture you're going to find them in most of the time. Among the cautions of caring for a basset hound is that they do have a long back. So a lot of jumping up, jumping on things, jumping over things, and jumping off things are not going to be in this dog's future. Uh, you really have to take care that they don't develop a back injury because of the length of the spine. The Basset Hounds are generally really sweet with their people, good with children, and a pretty independent dog. So most of the time it's recommended that if they're outdoors, when they're outdoors you have good fencing or you have them on leash because they will wander off following that wonderful Basset nose.